of My City, My Vote. Uh, it is about local government election. As you all know that on the 5th of November 2017, Montreal City Corporation is holding one. And our today's guest is Madam Mary Deros. She is a city councillor and at for this year again she's gonna be um, she's gonna be on the vote and we're gonna talk uh, with Madame Mary Deros about uh, her what she is doing for us for all these years as you know for a long time she has been with us almost two decades so here um, I'm gonna go to Madame Deros welcome to our studio Thank nice you to very meet much. you Madame good Deros evening. good evening how are you doing pretty good Great. Pretty good. Considering that it's one week before the elections, That's right. we've been working very hard uh, with our volunteers to uh, inform and to encourage people to go and vote. Excellent. Yes. So, uh, Mary, uh, Madam Deros, Mary. I know that it's Mary. Mary. Yes, fine. Okay. So I, I know that it's been since 1989. 1998. 98, I'm sorry, 1998. You have been working um, as a as a city councillor and uh, for Park Extension. That's right. Uh, and again, this year, this year you're going for vote. That's right. And uh, for the same position, right? Same position, so city councillor. Definitely, you have been doing so many good things that keeps you uh, on this position for a long time, right? So do you want to tell our viewers about uh, your accomplishment? Absolutely. Thank uh, you. In 98, uh, one of the first uh, projects that I did was uh, opening Park X towards Jerry Park. We, uh, at the end of Ball Street, through St. Rock, we, uh, through St. Rock Park, we uh, opened up a level crossing for pedestrians and cyclists. And all of a sudden, Park X people were able to go to Jerry Park with a safe environment, with lighting, and we had all the elements so that when a train came, the barricades would go down, there would be lights, and there would be, um, uh, you know, the chiming of bells so that people could hear and they could visually see that a train was going to come, so they would wait. It is a safe crossing that we've had for the last, uh, I would say, 18 years. It was in 1999 that we started this, and it took me six months to do it. Uh, another thing that we've been working for the last 10 years, and we hope to have positive results very soon, is opening Ogilvy Street towards Castre, uh, the Castelnau. So Ogilvy to the Castelnau for pedestrians and for cyclists. This brings us out of the isolation because we have physical barriers. Metropolitan on the north, Lackery, uh, the, the fence of TMR on the west side, train tracks on the south side Beaumont and also train tracks on the east side so there's very few streets that bring people into Park X and allows us to go out so in working with the different uh, departments and working with CP hopefully we will have one more uh, access to the east end through Ogilvy towards the Castelno. Okay great. This was one of the many achievements we now have a library that we didn't have before we have an indoor swimming pool, and all our parks have been practically done. I still have two small parks that need attention, but uh, I'm very proud of our achievements because we have two cricket cages. Uh, we have two cricket uh, fields at Jarry Park, and we also have cricket batting cages, the only ones in Quebec, if I'm not mistaken, the only mm -hmm. ones in Canada in Park X at Howard Park. So it gives the children of South Asian origin to go and practice That's cricket, right. which is a, a, a popular sport. That's right, yes, yeah, which is. Thank you so much. And now, so, uh, so yes, you have definitely a lot of achievements. However, to achieve those goals or to give us um, that, uh, that uh, service, did you have to go through some challenges? Absolutely. You know, uh, Villaray St. Michel Park Extension is the second largest borough in Montreal. We're 150,000 citizens that live in, in this borough. Uh, and Park X alone is about 35,000 people who live here. So I cannot have all the investments in Park X. I have to share it with my colleagues in Villaray and in Saint-Michel and François mm -hmm. Ferrand. So every time we needed things, we had to sit down in meetings, negotiate, 
uh, and ask that my colleagues would support this. And so far, we've succeeded in sharing and managing our budget well. Uh, whenever possible, we were able to go and get grants from the city central, from the federal and provincial governments, so that we can go ahead and do what we can do. And you got a support from them. What you yes, expected, I did. You got the that. same way that I supported mm -hmm. my colleagues with the projects in their That's in right. their respective districts, they also supported us. Right, we have a very strong team in our borough, and uh, with Annie Sampson, I must confirm and state that. Mm -hmm. We have a very good working relationship. She's been a friend since 1998. Mm -hmm. She was elected in 1994. And so together we're able to work and to try to bring in many development and many projects to park extension. Great teamwork. Okay, thanks. Absolutely. Thanks. One of the main things that we did in this particular mandate the last four years was secure the areas around our schools and our parks uh, by adding um, the uh, calming, uh, traffic calming measures by uh, putting in the um, uh, dodan, the uh, speed bumps. Okay, speed yes. Speed bumps that on, forces. around the schools, mm -hmm. around our parks, and on some streets where the cars speed, we have put in speed bumps so that we can control and slow down traffic so that we don't have too many accidents. One third of our population are young people, children, and we want to assure that we give them safe areas to play in and safe areas in the neighborhood. And this was one way that we did it. Yes, perfect. But there is no such incident in park area that happened uh, that you had to t take that, that uh, measurement, like you had to do that. Was there any issue? Too many that? cars are speeding in our streets. Yep. And before an accident happens, we want to take preventive measures. Okay, yes. We've that's also right. added mm -hmm. 15 additional stops at corners, again, to allow people to cross the streets in safety. Okay, great, that's great. And now, um, your greatest motivation for this election, maybe? Would you like motivation? to tell us? Yes. My motivation is serving the population. It's always been uh, an energy focal point for me. Uh, I've always been in customer-related positions in my past life. And ever since I've been a city councillor, it's been my strongest focal point, and that is serving the population of Park X. And not only Park X, people who have had the opportunity of meeting me and knowing me often call me and ask me, to help them with situations, whether it's in the downtown area, whether it's in Côte de Neige, uh, the Sud-West, in La Salle, Lachine, because people know me. You know, Park Extension has 115 different cultural communities. That's right. And when you mm -hmm. attend one event, people come from all over the city to participate and uh, celebrate. And so they get to know me. We become friends, we build relationships, and this is how they feel comfortable to call me to see how I can help them in their respective districts. Okay, great. So how do they, they contact you? Do they call you directly or it's through your bureau, your <laughs> office? <laughs> yeah. They send me tweets, Twitter. That's right. They send me Facebook messages. Communicate, great. They send me emails uh, to the elected members through uh, the internet. They also call 311, and sometimes I get the messages from our uh, Access Montreal office. Okay. But also, I have 5,000 numbers on my cell deal. Okay. So a lot of people know my cell number. That's right, call. but do you have time to, to respond all those calls? Like, if 5,000 people calling you, imagine. So you... They don't all call at the same time, okay. but they have access to me. That's right, that's right. But you, you try to try to answer them and you try to solve their problem, what they're looking for, you try to give it. Right. And if it is not possible for me to help mm -hmm. them, I refer them to go where they can find some solutions. Okay, perfect. So you're going to continue this for the upcoming years as well? Absolutely, perfect. absolutely. Uh, a lot of people have um, encouraged me to continue so that they can so that I can continue to service them for the next four years.
That's right, yes. So uh, thank you so much, Marie. Now we have to take a, um, a break. And uh, now, viewers, we're going to take a break and uh, we'll be back in a moment. Don't go away. Welcome back to Nagarik TV's uh, special episode, My City, My Vote, with Madam Mary Deros. So we're going to go back to her again. Uh, so now for the young generation. So uh, right now, um, a lot of people may be there interested to, to come and do some community jobs or to help people. Now, um, should the young generation from different communities be um, getting into mainstream politics? What do you think? The doors are open. And we do have a, uh, a youth council meeting mm -hmm. uh, committee at the City of Montreal where young people from age uh, 18 to 25, 30 can sit on this uh, committee. And they exchange. They uh, practice on different ways of doing politics. And they also work in giving us, the elected members, uh, their opinions and how they would like to see things done. Now we also have different programs for youth. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I'm always asked, what are you doing for the youth? That's well, right. the city has programs. Uh, first of all, we have a program with uh, PYO, Park Extension Youth Organization, mm -hmm. where they teach youth mm -hmm. how to become lifeguards. And then the city hires them to work as lifeguards in our pools. swimming pool. Mm -hmm. Once they start working with the city, it is putting one foot in the city so that perhaps the year after they can come back or they can go into another department with the city. Right now, I'm very proud because the director of sports, recreation, social development and culture, Nathalie Vaillancourt, started off as a monitor Mm -hmm. at one of our day camps. And once she was in, she slowly worked her way through education, through changing different positions. And today, she's our director of sports, oh. recreation, social development, and uh, culture. So by bringing in the young people to become monitors at our day camps, by learning to become our lifeguards at our swimming pool, it is a door open for them to come into the city of Montreal and working themselves to other positions eventually. That's right. We also have programs with uh, Integraction Action where they give employment during the summer for six weeks to students. And in how schools. old has to be the kid to get that uh, job? It's through the principal. Okay. With the principal. They have to have good marks mm -hmm. and the principal makes a recommendation. Okay. And they do a six-week stash in different fields, and they get paid for it. We also have another program with the Chamber of Commerce of Greater Montreal, where, again, through the school boards, the youth are recommended, and they get training, and they get to do stashes with different companies. A lot of these companies eventually hire these students for summer jobs. So we do have programs for youth. And they're for, from high school? from high school. Okay. There's another program where the city has stage for people who have had uh, the visible minority mm -hmm. who have their diplomas but are unable to get jobs. They can apply for this program for the stage okay. and they get a six month paid stage with the city. It's and true. once they finish the six mm -hmm. month stage, if there's an opening and it's within the field of the person who did the stage, they hire them. If okay. after the six month stage, they do not have any openings, they give them a certificate that mm -hmm. they completed a six month paid mm -hmm. stage, and then for they the can future. go and use that for reference to get another job elsewhere in the private sector. Okay, great, oh, yeah, that's great. And uh, now- But if the youth want to mm -hmm. get involved in politics, yes. get involved, volunteer. We have elections in one week. 
So there's one week now that if anybody wants to get involved to do some volunteers, to do door to door, to make some phone calls, uh, all they have to do is go to one of the electoral offices of their, the candidates that they want to support and help us get elected. Do you have anybody there, like any, any uh, young, I mean... We have young people yes, doing our door-to-door. -door. We're doing okay, it together. Okay. We train them. We work with them. And, you know, this is how things started. Annie Sanso, who's our mayor of mm -hmm. our borough, yes. she started as a young liberal many, many years ago when she was in her teens. Okay. And she got her feet wet. She got excited about politics. And look, today she's the mayor of our borough. It's like a city. Uh, 150,000 people is like a city. So she started very young, mm -hmm. and the politics just became part of her life. And today she's managing our borough. Okay, great. So everything is possible, but when you start young mm -hmm. within a system, then slowly you learn how things work, and a lot of doors become open later on. That's right. We just have to encourage them. We have Absolutely. to let them know the ways how to proceed. Absolutely. Okay. Now, uh, again, I think we have to take a short break at this moment again. Please don't go away, viewers. We'll be back uh, shortly. Welcome back, uh, viewers, to our special episode, My City, My Vote, with Madam Mary Deros. Okay, uh, now uh, tell us about um, if you get elected, what you are going to be doing differently than, done, uh, than what you have done in the past. What are your plans or strategy? I think what I've been doing for the last 19 years is a formula that is good and people are happy. I've never promised things. All I've said is that I will do the best I can to serve the constituents. That when citizens come to me, when community groups come to me and they voice their concern, they voice their needs, we work together and we find solutions. But one of my main um, objectives in the next upcoming mandate is to work with the circulation department of the city of Montreal because too many cars are using our streets they're creating too many traffic jams. Exactly. They're creating uh, danger, danger situations for our families because they're frustrated. And when they come through Park X, they take our residential streets and they speed through. And even they're not even citizens of Park Extension. So they do uh, use our streets to go north and then take the Metropolitan to go east or west. and my objective is to make our streets safe for the families of Park X. This is my first objective. Secondly, we are creating two new parks in Park Extension. One of them is Centennial Park and the other one is Dickie Moore Park. Centennial is at the corner of uh, St. Rock and Stewart and the other one is on Beaumont at the corner of Delephi. These two areas were purchased by the city and all the plans are being prepared now to be started in spring and we will be inaugurating them in the fall. And there's also a plan to turn Jerry 1, which is a, a soccer field, to turn it into an artificial turf because the Jerry 2 field is so heavily used by children and adults alike that we need Jerry 1 to be of better use because when it's grass, when it's wet, when it rains, you can't use the park, it destroys. And so by putting That's an artificial right. turf, we'll be able to provide more playing time for the soccer teams. Okay, That's great. Thank you. And now, what would you like to tell our community members about your integrity? About? Your integrity. My integrity. 19 years. I believe I have been working hard with honesty, with transparency, and with integrity. Um, I've proved that over the last 19 years, so it's hard for me to say, you know, my integrity is who I am, and I've always worked honestly to help not just your community, 
but all the communities. Um, many people have called me the mother of Park X, and I hope that it's because of the way I deal with all the cultural communities, because to me, we are all citizens, and I follow the Charter of Rights of the City of Montreal, which means basically everybody is equal, and we all have rights to receive the services like everyone else. We are not second-class citizens. And I've been always working hard to make sure to bring Park X up to, the, to be part of the City of Montreal, to have equal services just like everybody else. That's great. Thank you so much. Now, um, Mary, last thing. As I say, too many cars, it's a safety issue as well. At the same time, Jean Talon Street, I know that a lot of stores, bank, uh, restaurant, fast food stores are there. So people, not only from Park, but from outside, come here to do the, Especially their grocery. Especially the South Asian <laughs> Yes, restaurants. exactly. They're very popular. Not too many stores outside of Park X, so they need to come here for their grocery or for other stuff. But the issue here is not enough parking. It's hard to get a parking in this area. So do you have any, any plan or strategy for that to solve this issue? I when think Park X was yes. started to develop, we didn't have the number of cars that we had today. That's right. Uh, and it wasn't as developed as it is today. But we are very well served by, I would say, at least in this particular area, two metros. Lacquerie and Jean Talon. Very close, yep. Jean Ta not Jean Talon, but uh, Park, Park and Jean Talon. Right. We also have the 80 bus that passes by every 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So we're very well served by public transportation. But yes, I understand, people still come in from other areas and they drive with cars. That's right. And a lot of our people, local park exers, walk. So you have a mixity of bikes, because we have also new citizens who came in from the plateau and other areas that like to bike. So it's a cohabitation of our streets, but that doesn't solve the problem of parking. We have more cars, but our streets have not changed. Can we encourage somebody, whoever is listening, to perhaps develop an indoor multi-level parking? We're open to that. But somebody would have to purchase a building and develop it within. Okay. So, yeah, because in this area, every, all the places are been taken, right? So It's very, I mean, everything is developed. Mm -hmm. And the few, two, uh, two areas that are not developed is a park that we're, two parks that we're going to create. And we do need green spaces. We need, we need parks for the families, for the children. That's right. Yes. We so, need. you know, you have to have a bit of everything. That's right. So for this, this issue, to solve this, we have to... We have to create parking. That's How do we right. create parking? Hopefully, we can encourage somebody to come in, look at what is available, mm -hmm. and try to develop, construct an indoor, multi-level parking. It's enclosed, it's a building, and it's possible, and we will support it. That's great, and it is within your plan. Absolutely. Great. Thank you so much, Mary. Uh, Mary Daros. And now, now we have to uh, bring this program to an end. Okay, unfortunately, we don't have much time. Please tell something to our viewers or uh, citizen of uh, Park Extension uh, about this upcoming uh, election or your expectation, please. November 5 is the elections for the city of Montreal. November 5 is also the election for the entire Quebec province. All the cities, every city in Quebec, they have elections. Please exercise your right to go and vote. Equipe de Nicodère, our mayor, I hope that you have seen the development of Montreal. Look at four years ago what Montreal was. We were losing citizens, people were not happy, there were no investments. Four years later, all you see are how people want to come back to Montreal. There's development downtown. 13 hotels are being constructed. It's because we have brought in the pride and the confidence for people to come in and invest in Montreal. A lot of jobs have been developed, which means employment for our people, for our citizens. And we're very proud of our accomplishments. 
We're fixing the streets finally. We've invested heavily into our infrastructure, fixing the underground infrastructure so we don't lose drinking water. And now we fix all the underground infrastructure that has been there for over a hundred years that needed to be replaced. And we are fixing our streets also, so, and sidewalks to make things, to make it safer for our citizens. And so I hope that on November the 5th, that people will go and vote for Denis Coderre and his team in Park Extension. It's Denis Coderre for Mayor of Montreal, Annie Sanson for Mayor of our borough, and Mary Darrows, your friend as City Councillor. Okay, so viewers, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for your support. And now we have to bring this uh, um, episode, uh, special episode to an end. And on behalf of our viewers, Nagari TV, thank you so much for joining us, Mary, and wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you for the kind invitation. Appreciate it. You have a wonderful evening. Mm -hmm.